Hey, what's going guys? It's Shared, and welcome to another episode of Programming in Java. So this time we're going to be making the popular game Don't Touch the White Tile. Uh, pretty much it's a mobile game to where there's like a, like three rows on the screen and then, well actually three columns on the screen and there's like four rows and pretty much there's a black tile in each row that you have to hit and you pretty much have to go pretty fast through that. I, I don't know like what the exact like whole deal with going fast is but we'll somehow incorporate this the speed in with the score I guess because I just thought of that um, but in the original one I'm pretty sure like it's timed but we'll go ahead and we're gonna start with this so let's go ahead and create our Java project here and let's just name this don't touch the white tile so this is up oh, of course I messed that up this is the first time I'm actually recording this one so let's hope that we get a uh, solid ace on this but I don't count on it <laughs> Okay, so don't touch the white tile. I think this might have been the first time I've actually done a recording without having... To, actually, hold on. Let me test something real fast. Oop. Is that better? Oh, wow. Yeah, the audio was way low just then. Um, I might have to raise it in the video. Okay, so let me go ahead and create the class. Yeah, this is the first time I actually recorded my intro uh, the first time and got it right. Which is weird because I usually always mess that up. This is a very long name. I don't enjoy that, but I'm gonna stick with it because I really don't care that much. All right, so we're gonna do our basic thing. We're gonna plop in our main method here. Of course, if you're new to Java, I'm making this video thinking that you're here more for the programming concept and how to actually make this game uh, rather than how to actually program. Um, I'm gonna be starting a programming series sometime soon, I promise. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do, but. One day, I, I'm going to get to doing it, but if you actually want to learn how to program, uh, go watch my snake video and go watch, or go watch my Flappy Bird video. Um, I actually go in depth on and, and explain things in these videos. I don't know, I may have done it in my Simon video, because Simon's very, a very simple thing, so I don't think it should have taken an hour, but anyways, the main reason these videos actually take a decent amount of time is because I like to go ahead and like... Uh, explain the concepts that I'm discussing or that I'm like currently like working on So yeah, anyways done with that rent I'm um, just gonna go ahead and create a static instance of this class up here. So public static Don't touch the white tile um, uh, D T D O T. <laughs> there you go So when I uh, do these videos sometimes you'll see me like really mess up my uh, typing that's usually because this keywords I have in my school, I have like, I think I only have two classes which I have access to computers in my school, but the keyboards on them I hate so much because they're like, they're just very different compared to my keyboard. So going from school to here and going back and forth just kind of just screws up my typing, which is sad, especially because I only got home from school like, I don't know, like an hour ago, if barely an hour ago, probably half an hour ago. But uh, if you're curious, I'm a freshman in high school. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Anyways, back to uh, programming. So, JFrame, that uh, set size. We need that. Uh, let's set the. Uh, I'm actually going to do this in a rectangle form. So, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and figure out what our tile size is. Actually, we can just make this smart. Uh, public static int. Actually, we'll just do public final int tile width equals, we'll just do, I think we'll do 300. Actually, let's do 250. And then tile height will be 400, 450. We'll see. We'll see how that looks. And then we're going to do tile width times three and then tile height times three. We'll see how that looks. I want to open this and oh yeah, I need to set I need to set visible. Uh, visible actually before I even open it, I'm gonna do frame dot set default close operation J frame dot exit on close so that it actually exits exits the game. So that's a bit large, and you want it to be a little bit smaller than that. So we'll try, we'll try just doing 350. Oh, no, we'll just do 400. See how that looks. 
Nope, 300. 350, rather. Mm hmm. Nope, still a bit too big. Uh, 300. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to go with that then. So they won't be the biggest tiles, but still, they'll be there. Um, so we need to think of this as if we have tiles down here, tiles up here, tiles up here, and then some off screen. So they're like the next ones coming in, because we want them to be animated and we want them to fall down so it's actually like a smooth gameplay. So let's go ahead and create a new class. We'll call this, actually, we don't even need, mm, yeah, we do. So we're just gonna do tile and we're gonna say public. Well, first we're gonna make a Boolean and we're gonna say uh, clicked or in tile and then we're gonna provide an int x and an int y. So the coordinates of the click and we're gonna return false right now. But let's go ahead and come up here. We'll do public int, public int x and y, and then public int with, actually we already have with and height. So actually we do have to come over here and we have to do uh, static. Because we want to be able to access them from here. So we have to make sure that this rectangle collides with the point that we click on it. Uh, we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves, however, uh, this will be a nice thing just to get in there real fast. Uh, we'll do x, uh, no, if x is less than, so let's do x is less than uh, or greater than, oh right, I think this dot, no, x is greater than this dot x, and n x is less than this dot x plus, don't touch the white tile, dot tile width, that makes it very large, but oh well. And, and, uh, x is, actually, no, that should be good. And, and y is greater than, yeah, okay, this dot y. And, and y is greater than, or less than, this dot y plus, don't touch the white tile. Uh, tile height. All right, so this is pretty much a giant if statement in the return boolean, and that should work. I don't even need these parentheses, however. I'm just doing them for my mindset. All right, so we need a array list. We're just do we need an array list? I don't think we need an array list. We just need a yeah. If we make an array list, it might make it simpler. So let's go ahead and do that. Array list. Uh, tile, tiles. And then we actually want to put a boolean in here. So public boolean black. And we also want to do public int offset x offset y. Actually, only offset y. So the offset y is going to be, actually, we'll just change it to animate y. So in the game, when you hit it, you can actually hit where the next one's going to be. But uh, even though it still looks like it's coming down, so you can do it really fast. However, it, um, this will allow it to not affect like the um, the what like I'm trying to like explain. Uh, this will allow it to like actually not affect the Y, but still have it render in a different position. So yeah, um, let me go ahead and do, so let's go ahead and create our renderer class real fast, the good old renderer class that we've created a thousand times, extend J panel, let's get this out of here, paint component, override you, and then We'll do don't touch the white tile dot repaint or that dot repaint. And then let's throw G into there. This time we don't need graphics 2D because uh, we aren't going to use a brush width. So that should be fine. Um, I should just do render. 
I don't know. I change that method name all the time, depending on like my mindset at the time of programming. But for now, that'll be fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and create that up here. I'm all over the place with this one, aren't I? But hopefully, you guys will understand. I mean, like I said before, this isn't exactly for new new uh, programmers. It's more for people who are here for the programming concept. And if you don't really truly understand how to make games like this, uh, this is kind of for you. But hey, uh, if you don't know how to program and watching this is entertaining, good for you. I mean, maybe you'll pick up something. Uh, that'll be cool. <laughs> but like I said, my earlier videos are probably better to watch for that. But I will, I will create a series, I promise, one day. One day. All right. So we got the render down here. We also need to create a timer. So timer, timer equals new timer. And then we want to make sure to import the um, the J, the Java Swing one. So it's right here. And we need the access or the action listener. So implements action listener and add unimplemented methods. All right. So let's put this right above render because you you tick it before you render it. That's what I say. Timer start. So we start the timer. So it'll, this program will tw tick 20 times a second. Um, also need to add the render to this. So add renderer. And then over here we're just going to make a for loop. So this is going to be saying for so it's gonna be for each loop. So for each tile, tile in tiles. I always switch between C sharp and uh, Java. So it's like some as you see there, I started typing int, but I was actually typing in um, because instead of having this, you do for each in, and it's it gets it messes with my head, you know, working with two different programming languages. All right. So now we'll do g dot fill rect, and then we'll do tile dot x times tile width, and then y or tile dot y times tile height plus tile dot animate y. So we actually have to do minus tile animate y because what we're gonna have to do is when it clicks instead of because if we increase that it's automatically gonna move down so when we we need to make sure when we click it when we click the tile it's going to move the tile up so yeah so width and height so let's go ahead and do tile width and then tile height. All right. We also want to bring this up one and do g dot fill rect or g dot draw rect. So I actually want to keep that capital. And then g dot set color color dot black and then color dot white. Uh we can put a little a one line if statement in here. We can say if tile dot black color white and then color dot black and we'll flip these tile dot black color black actually that might have been that would be fine yeah yeah that was right that was right all right so if we start this there will be nothing especially even because we actually didn't even initially um, initialate, initially, what? Initiate, that's what I was looking for. Uh, the array list up here, initially, that's an interesting word. All right, um, there we go. So now we don't get that error that we saw before. And uh, we need to make sure to create some kind of start method for this guy. So public void start. All right, so. Uh, we want to do for int 
i equals zero, i is less than three, i plus plus. Uh, for, actually we'll do x right here. This will make more sense. Uh, for int y equals zero, y is less than four, y plus plus. So from there we do tiles that add new tile and then we'll actually do x y and then black will be we'll actually have to do we'll have to do something interesting here because we need to make sure that nothing else is on that row is actually black so we can all right, we can do something sneaky. Let's try this. So for tile, tile, tiles, if y equals equals, or tile dot y equals equals y, and and tile dot black, boolean can be black equals false, or equals true. Um, can be black equals false. If, actually, uh, right here we'll do, over here we're gonna have to add a random, we're gonna have to add our random variable. So let's go ahead and add that up here and then we'll initialize it. Random equals new random. Okay, and then we'll do uh, actually, we'll do false right here. We'll do if can can be black. So if it can be black, then that else if yeah else if hmm oh oh okay. So tiles dot add new tile x y and then random dot next boolean actually we'll do next int three is equal to zero or uh, x equals equals three so pretty much this is saying actually that'd be two um, so pretty much this is going to be saying if it's if uh, it's in a random out of three, if that is equal to zero, it can be black. Or if it's the last one, it can be black. So this will mean that there will always be a black one no matter what. That's what the x is equal to two. But keep in mind that it is making sure that it can't be black already, and that's what that is. So yeah, let's go ahead and add that to the constructor because it's flipping out it's like dude this doesn't exist what are you talking about man I'm like don't worry it does I know what I'm talking about so now it's happy all right so this dot y goes y and then this dot black is equal to black very simple to make constructors like that all right so let's go ahead and launch this here all oh, right we have to call start that'd be smart that was unintentional to rhyme. <laughs> so start, and we got a giant black square, oh no. Why is that actually? Why is that? Hmm, interesting. Uh, can be black, it's false, let's just try, try this. And are they all white? No, they're all black. Okay. So we know that it might not be an issue with that. Um, so what's going on here? So if tile's black, make it black. Or set the color black. Oh, nice. Good job, me. <laughs> now we got the white. There we go. Uh, I want there to be outlines. Why are the outlines? Maybe they're just like a little bit too big. So minus one, minus one. And then minus one plus one. Actually, that might be plus one too. That will be plus one. 
So that'd be minus two then. And no, maybe I was wrong. Minus one, minus one. Minus two. <laughs> Okay. Um plus one. Oh, right. Plus one. Minus two. Oh, 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 I'm dumb. Let's go over that. I knew there was something weird about that. Okay, cool. <laughs> Just a straight line, GG. Okay, so now we need, ah, oh, I only throw a title in there. I just noticed that. My favorite thing to type. Don't touch the white tile. Explanation part. Not E, no, it's not a talk show. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. action performed. We'll do that in a second. So we got this. Okay, cool. So we can be pretty random. And there's always a black one. That's good. Bam, bam, bam. Um, let's go ahead and add the mouse listener. Okay. All right, so we want to do something like this. Uh, that that was a very intense knuckle, knuckle cracking right there. All right, so in here we want to make sure that when the mouse is clicked, it's going to check where, like which tile it's on, and if that tile is black, it will add to the score. Uh, the let's actually do this millisecond. Int millisec delay, so it'll add the millisecond delay times ten to, or actually, it'll be like subtracted of something. Like the lower it is, the higher it adds. I guess, yeah, that makes sense. Out of like a hundred, I guess I'll do. And if it's white, then you just lose. So we need to do four. Tile, tile, int tiles. Actually, we need to do a for int i loop. So, for int i equals zero, i is less than tiles dot size, i plus plus, and then if well, actually if actually <laughs> tile tile equals tiles dot get i, and it always does that. That's Thank you. All right, so if tile dot intile, yeah, let me add point in tile, just so it's nicer. Uh, somebody asked me on a video before, I did reply to his comment, but he asked me uh, how I did that. Well, I just hit control, uh, or actually alt shift R, it allows you to rename things. E dot get Y. All right, so now we got the points. Um, what are you complaining about, bud? I no, it didn't even work. All right, watch. I just need to dry that again, don't I? Point in tile. Let's not name that with a capital. Now it's better. Uh, there was probably an error, so it didn't actually edit any other classes. Um, let's see here. We need to if tile dot black then do all that else game over equals true uh, I also want to get that out here I'm just gonna comment this line out for a second and then so if it is black then we want to do tile that animate y minus equals tile height so that means the animation is gonna move it back up but the y tile dot y plus plus and then we're also going to do another for iteration loop. So for int i equals zero, 
i is less than actually we're gonna do this um i is less actually not i we want j because we already have the one up there i is less than tiles dot size j plus plus and we want to do if tiles dot get j dot y is equal to zero then we're going to do tiles dot remove j all right and we want to add we want to move everyone up so else tiles dot get j dot y plus plus so we're just going to move them all up so including this one um actually we want to do that to all of them it seems and then we'll do score we'll add score up here we'll throw boolean game over up here as well uh so we'll do score and then public boolean delay so it'll be and you get like second so score will be score plus equals max or math dot max um zero to actually i'm gonna put the first one here and then zero so math dot max so we want to get the uh, maximum value between these two because we're going to do 100 minus uh, the millisecond delay. Divided by 10, maybe? No. Yeah, that, that's perfect right there. So actually, we'll make the max 10. So this is most likely going to be the higher one. But if not, it's going to go to 10. And we'll also add you. All right, make you public just because. All right, so now we got the score in and everything. Now we need to see what it does. Oh, right, we need to add the action listener frame. Not add act or mouse listener rather. This. Oh no, it didn't work. Why was that? Well, we'll find out. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and do this. Do so so yo. With GG dog, int height is equal to tile height, and then we need to multiply this guy right here. So now it looks a lot nicer, and it's our own good, so we don't have to use rectangle. Okay, so as you can see, it says yo, so it's like, sup dog, sup, and that's the stupidest thing I ever said, so ignore that. <laughs> and right here, we'll say if it's black or not.
Yo, yo, yo. It must have moved it. But it's not being repainted. Ah, I see, I see. So that means when it's being performed, I don't, I knew that that shouldn't have been empty. So I have to put repaint in there. So now when I click that, as you can see, everything moves. These guys stay, that's a bit strange. Um, I feel like they all moved a tad bit much. So tile to animate y minus equals tile to height. Um, okay. So minus animate y. Um, yeah. Let's do we're into i equals zero, i is less than tiles dot size, i plus plus. Um if well, tile tile equals tiles dot get i if tile dot enemy y is great or less than zero tile dot enemy y plus plus so that means it'll move them it's doing it very oddly I don't know perhaps I need to I'm just gonna move this guy all fast see the thing I'm just concerned about is doing that's just all right <laughs> I'm gonna put a boolean uh clicked equals false uh clicked equals true and right here I'll do and and not clicked so that means it'll kind of it's pretty much breaking but I'm doing it just in case Weird. Um, the top row obviously shouldn't be there. Hold up, I think I know what's going on. So the middle one. Uh, yeah, I have to click the bottom one. Oh yeah, right. I also need to make sure that it's the um, it's only the the center one being clicked. Okay, so that means I have to do um, e dot get y is less than three or less than tile height. Or greater than tile height times two. So up here doesn't do anything, but right there does. Um. Oh right. Oh okay. So I want it to be if it's three, then remove it. So there you go. Actually two. All right. pointer fun if I don't touch d2 is not equal to null then render it all right that should fix that okay so now we just have to add a new row so we can take this chap wherever you are in the star method so this guy And we'll throw you right here, and then not in the Y. Um, Billion black equals 
false or false boolean can be black equals false um black actually equals that if can be black and end black oh yeah you do cannot be black and end these guys uh, so if it can be black and it is black then let it be black actually that should just be able to be like that so y will be zero. Oh yeah, right, we need that last parenthesis over here. Lol. Um. X zero black. That's a bit confusing. Also, I've noticed the uh, animate Y thing isn't doing anything. I do tell it to work right here. Oh, that's why. <laughs> um, minus. Oh, I probably add it. I need. I want to minus. It. I just want to add up here, and then plus equals tile. Let's go to height divided by twenty. Actually, divided by like 50. No, 10. No, uh, divided by 2. So make it, make it faster. So these aren't. It's very strange. Word. Uh, tile width times th three, tile height times three. G dot set color. Uh, divided by, f I'm just going to do like five. Uh, mouse click doesn't seem to be the most reliable thing for this, so I'm just going to do mouse pressed. And then, yeah, it's a lot better. Oh, yeah, right. Um, tiles. I'm going to set this guy to have the animation to So now as you can see, it has a nice little animation Now we just need to figure out why the entire black row So if this and that So I'm guessing I'll have to do If that, let's say, 
Ah, oh, let me just do this, whatever. Or, or x equals two. If can be black, then do that. Else I'll just do false. Just make it easier. There we go. Actually, that's stupid. This has to be true. And then do if oh and then black. So I can just throw true into there. Um if that can be black equals false. So let's go ahead and start this again. As you see. It's keep clicking on the screen. That was a bit weird, wasn't it? Let's make this more interesting. Let's go ahead and do. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna add another one up here. I'm gonna do rows. Actually, columns. Uh, I'm just gonna do four. So width times columns. do I do anything up here? I don't think I use it anywhere anyways. So let's go ahead and right. I use it over here. And I need to do it this is less than three. Over here too. Okay. I know I use it in different spots. Right, I need to do four, or is it equal to columns? Minus one. Yeah, it makes it a lot harder. I might want to do, um, I wanna actually like, hmm, I'm, I'm thinking about making it like to where it's a little bit off because as you can see I can I keep clicking out of it. Like eh, it's a bit annoying. Yeah, this makes it a lot more difficult. But we'll go ahead and throw it back to three. Just as an option, you know. Sometimes that's just too funny. All right. Um. So I might want to do. Oh yeah, I need to add it to where the score shows at the top. So I'm gonna do. I actually want to do. Siso. And then. C. You've scored points just to see how. Oh, yeah, right. I need to do any action performed. Go mill, select delay plus plus. And then over here, mill sec delay equals zero. I also need to make 
make this not resizable. All right. And now we need to add the game over screen. So if not game over. Okay, so if the game is not over, then go ahead and play. Else score equals actually start. And then in here we'll do score equals zero times. Actually, that'll just your first one will most likely be ten. Um Delay, whatever. What is this actually? Did I ever use delay? What? Why was there that? That's weird. Okay. Anyways, uh, in render, I'm going to do if game over. Well, if not game over else if it is actually I do want that uh, g dot set font new font Arial style one size a hundred I'm gonna just put this up here g dot set color color dot red g dot draw string score or string dot value of score and then I'll do a hundred and do a hundred there as well but over here I want to do tile height times two and say game over Well, game over. GG. So, I also want to do, even over here, let's go ahead and do this. Um, over somewhere I need, I do if, okay, yeah, so it's right there. So, else game over equals true. Weird. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I also have to do G dot set color. Color dot black. And game over. Okay, it's a good size. Um but where is another one, where's this? That's not showing. And where? Let's put zero for that for now. All right. Um, where is or why is it? If point in tile. Oh right, because that's for all of them. So. The point is in a tile if else. Gotta grab all this. So now we need to figure out why that's not rendering. Let's see. Um, so let's just throw, yo, uh, this is probably too. Weird. 
Oh, dumb. That has to be last. Has to be drawing over everything. And now, there you go, zero. And do like 260. 100? I, I don't know. Don't ask. Uh, actually, with. Tile with plus tile with type of two. There we go. Oh, I just do tile that with. I definitely click the white one there. Um, so that means if tile black. Uh, that's I figured I forgot that. I think I deleted that. That's what that one. Those few lines of code were. All right. So if I click, it should start the game. Start. Oh. Game over. Was false. Uh, tiles equals new array list tile. That means I can delete that one. So now, if I do that, just go ahead and click to start a new. Cool. So that was actually pretty easy. Uh, this is actually a really fun game, though. Really good for reaction time. Get pretty high score pretty fast. I mean, it was semi decent reaction time. <sighs> Messing up so much right now. Fix it, you get used to, you know? Um, what if I do like tile width to be like 10 and then like columns to be like 300? Oh god, <laughs> it's onto my other monitor. It works. Uh, we'll do like columns be like 50, cut width to be like 30. Eh, eh, eh. It's very difficult. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> oh, that's awesome though, that that's possible. And now somebody's gonna be like, oh, why don't you make it to where you can add more rows? Because why? You know, what? let's let's do that real fast. Uh, three. Basic one's three by three. Tile is two fifty. And times rows. Why is less than rows? Tile height times three rows uh, times two times rows minus one times rows minus one. And then now let's see. Okay. That was wrong. Oh, because uh, no. All oh, right, because that's math. All right, I just got to do. Probably have to do that somewhere else too. My plus plus. Uh, to get J, move J. All right. So now we do. 
file height will be 10, or we'll do 50 by 50, and then actually 100 by 100. And I'll make this a 4 by 4. It'll just be squares. It's interesting. The text obviously doesn't scale, but <laughs> that's not the point. All right, so let's go ahead and put this back. So that's an option if you want to play around with that. You can make the text scale if you want, but this is really how the game is supposed to be. I hate doing text because it's always so weird. But yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, um, I'm actually gonna, hold on, I'm gonna change one more thing. I'm just gonna change that to be two. And then same for this. Because it seems to be a bit too rare. Yeah, it looks better. Okay, cool. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy, I Hope you leave a like on this video, and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. And uh, be sure to leave a comment to tell me what you think the next video should be. If you need any help with this, like if you're actually a uh, new Java programmer and you're watching this video, and you want to try to make this and you're having some kind of issues, uh, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Before, I've, I've, I usually always try to reply to the comments, but some some reason there's like, the way that you can't reply to the comments I don't know why that is like certain comments can't be replied to uh, so make sure you can actually have your comment be replied to otherwise I'm not gonna be able to help you because there's no other way for me to contact you yeah so yeah make sure that's not a thing uh, make sure that people can reply to your comments before uh, commenting I don't know how you check it but I don't know um, somebody asked me like why don't their J framework and I was like I don't know because I can't respond to you and I can't like figure out the issue so yeah uh, the source is down in the description below you can download that if you want to but other than that uh, thanks for watching guys and talk to you next time